who's going to think it is? Who's going to think that someone coming in a horrific guise, i.e. one-eyed, hen-toed, uh, like uh, protruding whatever it is, and they're going to go, is that Allah? Is it not? Oh no, Mohammed said he hasn't got one eye. Oh, we're all right. <laughs>that this antichrist figure that the bible describes matches perfectly the al mahdi that the um, that obviously is described in in islam in the quran and in the hadith so the reason why i'm saying that is because um the what, mahdi the no not not the dajjal oh. here's here's Sorry. where here's where it kind of flips and you have to get a deep understanding in what's going on because well, get great for this I'm listening, I'm listening. <laughs> no worries because the dajjal they describe matches perfectly christ they say that well, I'll the tell most you why. hated name on Judgment Day will be King of Kings. King, yeah, and Allah hates the one who calls himself the King of Kings. Makkah. al Arana, Whatever it is, yeah. yeah. So he hates the one who calls himself the King of Kings. And also, um, in the Islamic belief, they're, they're told that this Antichrist figure would come. He'll be a Jew. He'll claim to be Christ. One eye. One, one eye. Deep for set. Reason. Yeah, yeah. Deep set. Curly hair. Here's what, here's what intrigues me. He has a name written on his Short forehead. Kafa. 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 Yeah. Kafa. And in the Bible, it the describes Jesus. Yeah, in Revelation 19, say that he has a name written on him, on his forehead, that no one knows but himself. And not only him, but the 144,000 is written on their foreheads the as well. Martyrs. Yeah. yeah. What Meditate intrigued me is that when I read the, the book of Revelation, it says, the beast made war with the lamb. Yes. So for me, yes, I can't fathom how um, nations will see Jesus and make war with him. According because, to the Bible. i tell you why. Because the darkness did not accept the light. Yeah, yeah, the light yeah, yeah. came, he was the light of men, mm -hmm. but the world hated him because they did not understand him Definitely, because yeah. they're, they're, they're spiritually blinded. Exactly. And in the end times, they're going to remain that way because the Holy Spirit is going to like exit stage left mm -hmm. and then there's no chance yeah, unless I, I'm hopeful that if maybe you accept Christ at that time, maybe the Holy Spirit will just nip down for you, uh, yeah. but he's going to be gone. So then they will see Christ and they will they still will reject, reject him the way they rejected so him in the well, first know, time. The because they will see the name. Yeah. Hang on a minute. And the same way they didn't recognise Allah, right? Yeah. They they said, we take refuge from you with Allah. But it is Allah. And then he came to them in a shape that they recognised. Yeah, yeah, and then they go, oh, do you know what? Sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> or whatever they yeah, say yeah. in Arabic. Yeah. And also, ah, oh, I've got an interesting one. Eschatology wise. Mm -hmm. So the mark of the beast, which is either 616666, whatever... Uh, numerology you want to go with in Islamic eschatology they will accept a mark which will which will mark them out as saved or I don't know Believers. what it marks them yeah. out yeah. I've, I've read that hadith as well I was, about to, I was actually about to mention it it says the day um, it does, in the well, last day in, in, the Quran, in the Quran and in the hadith it says that and it's the part of the major signs of Qiyamah which is the last the, um, the judgment time basically the last oh, the signs before judgment there's major. so many good ones yeah, yeah, the yeah, end yeah. times will not come Elaborate so it more. says so it says that um of the, Allah will bring forth a beast to the earth because mankind had no um, no belief in our revelations and the task of the beast will be to mark every Muslim believer on their forehead whereby their faces will become bright and luminous and but will the also Bible seal says the nose. that the beast will come and, and you will receive the mark of the beast if you are name. not a believer and it will, well, I'm just giving you the, the, uh, the juxtaposition we believe that the, that the beast is Satan or like satanic and will come and we will be and will mark the unbeliever they won't be able to buy or sell without the mark so there's more life going on so in Christianity who is the beast marking in Christianity for my knowledge it says he will mark all. So, according to the Bible narrative, when the Antichrist rules, he has three and a half years. And he would, he would have three, over, three and a half years over the believers as well. Is this the other half of the peace tree? With yeah, this is the uh, other half. This is the first. So, there'll be, so who's there'll he be, marking? There'll be three. Um, who's he there'll be, so, who's he marking? I, I'm coming there. I'm coming there. I'm just saying he that just there'll be seven years. Greatest. There'll be seven years. In the middle of the seven years, in the middle of the seven years, no. he would obviously attack Jerusalem, attack the Jews. And Jesus even warns about this. He tells them to flee to the mountains when he sees a Jerusalem surrounded. He tells them the signs. He tells them the signs, and he's, and obviously this is before his coming. He says, when you see Jerusalem surrounded, this generation, what yeah, I know, that generation the that generation he's talking in the about, future yes. that sees these signs, will, they, yeah, will not pass away before the end comes. Before the end, that's because there'll be three and a half years. Who is he years, marking? Literally. So who is he marking? I'm coming to it. Who's marking the, the Antichrist? He gives authority no, to mark all, all the great all, and the small, great, small, uh, rich and poor, meaning. Believers, for my understanding, no for my understanding, he's going to mark everyone. 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 For my understanding, and that fits perfectly with um, the description in the in the, in the, the hadith as well. My phone is literally so, dead. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no chance of resurrection till I get the battery charger out. <laughs>
Cool. Could you just get up the verses that you're looking at? Because I, yeah. I'm, I'm not uh, an eschatologist, um, but I would probably like to create. Yeah, if you could just get up the commentary on that verse, yeah, I'm sure, no, you, when I said that, I Right, so I've got the reference here. It's Revelation 13, verse 16. Yes. It says, It also for, um, forced all people, great, small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand and on their forehead. Okay, Excuse me, sir. Yeah, so what I was saying was that, obviously there's no other belief system that I'm aware of that has a, a beast coming in order to mark people on the foreheads apart from the original Islam. Islam. Honestly, no, I've never other seen than Islam other than and Christianity, Islam, never he doesn't know of another Buddhism or whateverism yeah, that has this beast coming. Yeah, exactly. So obviously for me, red flag number one. So it, it led me to think like, I need to look into it's this very, belief system. Very, Synchronized. It's synchronized. But Warwicker yeah. had access to, to, in some, in Bible, to something. Yeah, yeah, it's true. true. Bible, he just read it. He says that he's got. They're gonna the come, but he's evil. Yeah. In Islam, he's good. In Islam, it's marking you for good. It's, it's giving you the name. It's giving yes, you, what it's you mean? Why are you shaking you become, your head at your you own source? Bright and luminous. So it's differentiating it's you like from Moses everyone. when he yeah, comes like down when he off comes the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Bible said he's gonna mark everyone. Yeah, sure. But it doesn't affect our salvation. And what what really scares me is the fact that when they talk about this Dajjal figure. He has a name um, on his forehead and he'll come leading. Can I get to the best one? Okay, I'm yes, so okay. sorry, no, I get no, a bit no, excited no, 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 about this. No, 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 no. Everyone, right, so, all right, so Allah's going to come. They're not going to recognise him. They're going to go, oh, we take refuge from you, not you, in Allah. In Arabic, obviously. Allah is going to appear and they will not recognise him. Sahir, yours. Why would I be chatting about Allah from my sources? Please explain. Okay, Allah will uh, appear to these. This is the end times, by the way. It's not like. Now, just, at the end, the I don't or know when, if it's the day of judgment. Comes, that, that, yeah, let me try and get to the end and you can maybe clarify. He comes, they go, we seek refuge uh, from you in Allah. But they're talking to Allah, but they don't recognise him. And it says, and then he comes in a form they recognise. But in the meantime, it's saying he is, uh, they're talking about the Dajjal and it says he is deep seated. He's only got what, one eye, his curly hair, he's hen toed. He's blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then it says, and if you're in any doubt, know that your Lord does not have one eye. So basically they're saying the hen toes maybe, the deep seat potentially, curly hair, whatever, but just know that Allah doesn't have one eye. What's the point? The point is that it was just funny because they're thinking they're going to see all this ugliness. Listen, all this ugliness, this deep seated and hen toes and manky eyeball, curly hair, red, whatever, and then in case they mistake, right, Sorry. I've got it. Apologies. This the is, prophet this is said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal in brackets Antichrist, that I am afraid you may not understand. The Antichrist is short, hen-toed, woolly-haired, one-eyed, one-eyed, not blind, and eye sightless. One of them is sightless, but only one-eyed, and neither protruding nor deep-seated, I apologize. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. So if you're confused about who this dude is, know that Allah hasn't got one eye. So he can't be this one. Why? Because Muhammad said, I'm afraid you may not understand because I've told you so much about the Dajjal. Why? Is that funny? No. Why does he want to make sure that they know? I don't know. Because they're going to think, yeah, because they're going to mistake Allah. He's a worried they're going to mistake him. Why? Because of the wonders. Uh huh. But they didn't even recognize Allah when he came in a shape they didn't recognize. Because of the wonders. I got you. The real Antichrist. Is going yeah. to do science so and wonders. But, That's why maybe I but, that guy. But at this time, God will not reveal himself to his creation. This is. So they're too here yes, on yes, Earth. Yes, of course, yes, I got you. But we're going deep into a joke here. I just thought it's hysterical because it's like me saying, you know, this uh, hen toed, uh, massive, like a uh, thing coming out of their head. Don't worry, it's not Jesus. <laughs> just in case. Like, who's going to think it is? Who's going to think it is? Who's going to think that someone coming in a horrific guise, i.e. one-eyed, hen-toed, uh, like uh, protruding, whatever it is, and they're going to go, is that Allah? Is it not? Oh, no, Mohammed said he hasn't got one eye. Oh, we're all right. That's, okay. That's what I'm okay. saying is the joke. Some people, and you are making me feel like I'm at a comedy club and that I need my money back. <laughs> some people yes. are going to be deceived by him. No, I got you on a spiritual by level. Doing, I understand. By doing all of these miracles. I understand. It's at this point, and maybe I should tell be, you that I don't believe any Islamic be, stuff. And they're obviously not. Yeah, and they're going to believe. I just thought it was a joke. They're going to believe that this guy's doing all of these wonders. Oh, yeah. No, same as in Christian theology. And when he, and when he came, down with the Antichrist and when he being a miraculous. And when he claims to be God, name. 
himself. I'm not down with it. That's why the hadith clearly states no, what you. he looks like. Your one, yes. What his signs nah. are. Nah, nah. Mohammed has already said. No, Mohammed has said. Eh, this is what I'm telling you. I've told you so much about the Dajjal. So he's already told them so much previously. Yeah. So maybe it's after your one. I don't know. But after your one was narrated. But he's now saying. Because I've told you so much, I'm worried that you might not uh, understand. Like maybe I've overloaded you with info. So I'm going to cut to the chase. Hen toes, curly hair, whatever he said, uh, a bit of a mong, right? And <laughs> one night, one sightless, one like that Illuminati bit, I don't know. And then he goes, I fear not, your lord. He doesn't say your lord isn't hen toed. He doesn't say your lord is not. Um, neither deep seated nor protruded he just says your lord doesn't have one eye that's what's cracked me up because of the shin and the two right thing is it's just made me laugh that's all but not so much now the joke is getting slaughtered with this like over analyzing of it